Hello everyone, in this video we will understand how to do a Twilio integration within ERP Next. So before understanding it, we'll first see like why is it important. So like we know that in ERP Next we have notification. Now if you have seen the previous videos that previous videos that we have created, you might have noticed that all of the notification that we have created were email notification. So like what if you want to create a WhatsApp notification or an SMS notification? So for that you will need a Twilio number. Like if I click on WhatsApp you can see that I get this prompt to enter a Twilio number. So in uh, Frappe already have a custom Twilio integration app which you need to install before going into Twilio settings and entering the SID as well as the token. So these are the two commands which you'll need to run in order to install the app. I'll also link down in the description box below. So after you're done with these two commands and then after you do bench start, what you'll need to do is you'll need to go into this interface that is in this, it is present in the integration module, like integration section, and you'll go to the Twilio settings. Now you also need to make sure that you are allowed in this module. Now since you'll be an administrator, I assume, you'll be having the permissions by default. But if not, then make sure that you allow yourself that this particular module, integration module. So now the important thing is like how will you get this SID and how will you get the token and how will you get the Twilio number? So I created a trial account on Twilio. And uh, so first of all, you need a project. You need to create a project in over here. Like you can see, this is my project that I created. First Twilio, the name is. And from there, you'll get the account SID as well as you'll also get the token. So I'll just copy this and I'll put it over here. And I'll also copy the token. Now this is my trial account. so. I'll be disabling this soon. And this is my phone number. You can see the trial number that I got, the Twilio phone number which I got. So you'll just add this number over here and you'll save it. And you'll just enable it. So now the Twilio has been enabled, but since right now I have not um, like I've not done this steps over here, I've just made I've just made it easy for you to understand like these are the steps you have to follow so let's see what happens if I go to the notification I'll go to this and you see that I can get the number over here this ID I'm getting over here so um, also one more thing like since this is a trial account uh, in order to integrate it with the third party app like you can see over here I will need to upgrade it to this one so that's why I'll just show you the step like how you can do this. So I hope you understood how to do this, how you can get this uh, account SID as well as the token. And yes, so once you have this, once it is up and running, you will be able to do a voice call. Now to do a voice call, you'll need to go to this one, to ML, and from here you'll need to set up. Then only you'll, it, you can enable the voice call in ERP Next. And uh, for the WhatsApp, you'll have to go to this programmable messaging, and from there you'll have to set up. So once it is done, so you'll be able to make a voice call as well as you'll be able to receive the calls, and you'll be able to send WhatsApp notification. I hope this video is helpful to you, whoever is trying to integrate Twilio. So thank you so much for watching.